This video demonstrates the technique of lacrimal syringing. The lacrimal system is a physiological system consists of lacrimal gland which secretes the tears, lacrimal canaliculi, lacrimal sac and the nasolacrimal duct by which the fluid is conveyed into the nasal cavity. The indications of syringing are to assess the potency of the lacrimal system, to flush the debris and to elucidate the level of blockage. This is the list of equipments which we use during the procedure. We need a lacrimal punctum dilator also known as Nettleship's punctum dilator, normal saline, a curved lacrimal cannula 25 gaze, a 2 or 5 ml syringe, it is important to explain the whole procedure to the patient before starting and take appropriate consent. Always wash your hand and put on the gloves. Position the patient comfortably and ensure that there should be a good lighting and if possible use the magnifying loop. Instill the topical anesthetic agent in the eye and wait for around 30 seconds and ask the patient to look upward and outward and then start the procedure. The lower eyelid is stretched laterally and downward, punctum dilation is done, then the curved cannula is inserted into the vertical part of canaliculi, then advanced further through the horizontal part of the canaliculi until the hard stop is felt and then the fluid is injected slowly till any sort of regurgitation is noticed from the opposite punctum or till the patient can feel the fluid in the nose. The following interpretations can be made following syringing. If the patient can feel the salty water in the nose, that means patient has patent lacrimal system. If the patient cannot feel the salty water in the nose, that means the lacrimal system is not patent. The type of stop experienced on inserting the cannula helps to determine the level of blockage. The hard stop means the lacrimal cannula is in the sac and touching against the lacrimal bone which suggests a patent canalicular system and the blockage is likely in the nasolacrimal duct. The soft stop means the cannula is within the canaliculus and pushing against the spongy outer wall of the lacrimal sac suggesting the blockage is within the canalicular system. If there is a regurgitation from the upper punctum it suggests a blockage in the common canaliculus while if there is no regurgitation from the upper punctum it suggests a blockage in the lower canaliculus.